Aloha, and welcome to episode two of My Salty Sea Life. My name is Larkin, and I will be your host as we take an inside look at what it's really like to live and work aboard a ship in the wild open sea. This week, our ship is all abuzz with an electric energy. You see, COVID has kept our vessel tied to the dock and us sailors slowly losing our minds. Normally, in a two-month period, we're underway anywhere from 45 to 50 days. But because of COVID, we actually completely flipped that and we were stuck to the dock for 50 out of the last 60 days. More time at the dock means no science and lots of boat maintenance. I just want to show you the kind of day that I'm having right now. So this is my project. I'm supposed to cover up all the rust spots, right? So like I needle gunned it and I wire wheeled it and I've like treated it and now I'm just doing like the spots, right? So I'm just going over the spots that I de-rusted, right? So I was feeling pretty good about it until I look across the way at my deck partners. Let's take a walk. Let's look at with somebody who's a little more experienced than me, what theirs looks like. Oh, and by the way, they're already finished and I'm not done with mine yet. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Look, it's got, it's, he was so bored and so over it and he did it so fast. He even put a little smiley face in there. Look at that. Let's take a walk back over to mine. Just in case you forgot the difference. So now you can see. Sad. Please no more. We were starting to act like cage tigers. But a couple of days ago, we got news that we were finally getting underway. This is what happened when I found out. Guess what? What now? Coast Guard gave us the green light. We're going back to the water. spirits since getting back on the water. Now it's time to switch gears and answer a question. This week's question comes from Wendy Gilbert. She asks, how do your experiences up north compare to Hawaii and what effect do they have on your dance moves? Thank you Wendy, those are great questions. So the major differences between my experiences up north versus the ship that I'm on now is that all of my previous ships, both north and uh, in, in tropical locations, they've all been passenger vessels. So cruise ships, essentially. And the ship that I'm on now is a research vessel. So before daily life revolved around um, guest experience, whereas now it's all about data collection and trying to make sure the scientists get what they need. One of the coolest jobs on the cruise ships was taking the guests out on skiffs. The skiffs I drove were light, fast, inflatable Zodiacs, and they were super fun. I could get anywhere in my skiff. Narrow passageways, up close to glaciers, even along the coastlines in southern tropical locations, and all the way up to the chilly fjords of the north. I went all over the place, and I loved it, like my little sports car on the sea. I'm sure my skiff driving days aren't over yet. I'm just trading the keys in for cool science equipment right now. And as far as dancing goes, whether I'm at 80 degrees north in the Arctic Circle or making my way down the Hawaiian coastline, I am always dancing. I can't help it, no matter what the latitude. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, please send them below. I love hearing from you all. We will be diving into the science on my current vessel next week, and make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on more of my salty sea life. See you next time. Mahalo.